Welcome back guys to episode number 45 and in this episode we are going to chop down some trees and gather up some resources. Like always you can find resources, uh, the assets in the description box and after you implement them they will look something like this. So let me show you how to set this whole thing up. So the first thing what we should do is create a material from our bark. So right click, create material and uh, yeah this seems to be a pretty good name so bark material. Um, I will just simply remove some specularity from this, so constant zero, and this will be good enough for me. So now I will set this up for my tree, so I will select the bark material. There we go, the bark is set up, so we can save this. And now comes the tricky part, the leaves, so we already have a material automatically created for this, and I'm gonna call this leaves mat, should be good. And what we should do in here is I'm going to delete the parameter, drag in our texture like so and connect this like this and we need to select our base node and we need to change some settings over here and we need to change the blend mode to masked and also we need to select that this is a two-sided mesh. So now what we can do is connect this alpha into our opacity mask and now this should work. So this is the end result we get. We can also remove some specularity if we don't want our la la leaves to be shining that bad. A li -li 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 -li. Guess who can't speak today? So that's that. We can save this. And this is all set up. So what I will do now is I will create a new folder which I'm gonna call World Actors. And inside of here I'm going to create another static mesh actor and I'm gonna call this tree, let's call this tree oak, whatever. And inside of here, so since my meshes have a bad collision box, it's going to be a big square around the whole thing, uh, we will run into some issues if we run our mesh over here. So I'm not going to touch this component at all but what I will do is select the tree self I will replicate the movement and I will replicate the tree itself as well so that uh, yeah this is a multiple layer game and we need to replicate things and I will add first I will add a let's see let's add a box collision there we go so we have a box collision and now we can add a static mesh component and we need to make sure of that this is a child of this box so for the static mesh now we can select our tree so this is tree there we go this is our tree and we need another static mesh which will be a child of this child so for this one we need to select the leaf where is the Okay, so was it? Yeah, tree. So we have tree plane. Yeah, there we go. So now we have this set up. So now let's check this out in the real world. Let's drag a couple of these in. Let's check this out. And yeah, this looks pretty good, I would say. So now that we have whole, this whole thing set up, what I will do is remove collisions. So no collision and no collision for our static meshes. So no collision, there we go. And now this box collision I will rename to, let's call this block collision. And this basically is not going to allow us to move it within this uh, tree. So I will block all. So now we need to set up the sizes of this box and we will have an issue if we stretch this out we are stretching the tree as well so for now unparent this make the cube the way you want it to be so make sure that it barely fits the tree and it, it's not uh, way bigger than the tree otherwise we might have some uh, hitting issues so I will actually make this even a tad bit smaller than the tree itself seems pretty good so now I will parent this again and now I will add a and this time we could do like a capsule collision and let's unparent this 
and let's make this bigger like so there we go and we need to make sure of that this is bigger than our uh, box collision so I might do this a little even more just a tad bit like so and let's call this hit collision and let's parent this right here and this hit collision needs to have overlap all there we go so that's that so this is pretty much set up for our actor so now what we need to do is I will create again a new folder which I'm gonna call interfaces and here I will add a new blueprint interface and I'm gonna call this hit and actor and I'm gonna, I will rename this function as well hit and actor and we need a couple of inputs so what we need is a hitted actor input which needs to be an actor type there we go as of right now we are not going to pass any more variables but later later we might pass our player as well but as of right now this is good enough and I will add another blueprint interface and I'm gonna call this interact so I will rename this so let's call this interact interact and we are going to interact with a weapon so we need to pass through an item s inventory structure variable like so and this is all set up so the next thing what we should do is for our tree we should go to the class defaults uh no class settings and add these uh, interface as well at least some of them so we need the interact one and also we have a previously created take damage um, interface in case if you don't have it this is the interface it's pretty simple two variables so now that we have set this up I think we can work with this right here so I'm going to delete all of these events that are right here right now and the first thing what I will do is let's work with the damage so I will do the event take damage and for this take damage we are going to create a new variable which is going to be our health and we need to make this float and we need to replicate this by default this is going to be 100 and over here what we are going to do is set this variable to be let's get this health as well and let's do health minus float minus float health minus value and this is the new health there we go and over here we are going to do a if branch check to see if our health is smaller or equal to and this needs to be smaller or equal to zero and if it's so then for our block collision we're going to enable uh, physics but we are going to do this in a second as of right now we don't have a event for this so the next thing what we could do is select our hit collision and for our hit collision we are overlapping all and we can do a begin overlap event so for this what we are going to do is from our other actor we need to get the root component and in our case this other actor that we are looking for should be an axe so we are looking for the root component of this actor and then we need to get the attached parent and from this we need to get the owner so get owner there we go and what we can do now is check if this attached parent is valid is valid so if this is valid what we can do is cast to third person character by using the get owner reference and then from as this third person character we need to check if we are attacking so is attacking so a branch check see if there we go and if we are attacking they are we are going to run the hit and actor message 
the target needs to be the other actor because this is the one that we are casting to uh, casting to this um, interface and for the hidden actor we need to do a self-reference so that we would know that this is the tree that we just hit so this is all set up and the last thing that we should do over here is create a, another event which is our interact event there we go we are interacting and here we can change check the weapon that we have so we are going to break the result and we are going to check if the weapon name is equal to the axe so if this is so then we can cast to third person character but we are going to get player character with the index 0 so basically the server character so over here what we can do now is let's see I guess it was collect hit data yes it's called collect hit data and send to server and uh, this is the event over here which is ran on server then we are running the server execute damage and then this runs take damage uh, interface so for the target we have the hidden actor so let's see so the hitter hitted actor is ourselves the player reference we are not passing through a player reference so we are not going to pass it and I think it should work because we don't need it as of right now and for the damage we need to get our value from our weapon so this should look something like this and the next thing what I will probably do is then in our third person character we should work a little bit on our simulate physics event let's move this down so as of right now we are simulating physics only for our character but we could modify this event so that this would work for all of the actors so what I will do is add a new input which is going to be the let's call this type I guess um, this will be a string type and let's add another one over here as well so type let's compile all of this now we can connect this like so and let's see so our simulate physics gets ran over here somewhere yeah there it is simulate physics so for the type I'm going to type in the player over here there we go so that means that in this one we can do a switch on string and connect this like so and for the first case it's going to be the player so we are going to run this for a player like so let's move this over here maybe and the next thing what I will do is let's add let's call this world actor I guess seems a pretty good name so what we can do now is set simulate physics um, yeah it already created one it doesn't matter so we can remove this so let's set this to true and now we need to connect the component like so so I guess all we needed to do actually was just to simulate the physics so this should this should work pretty good so now in our tree we can go down here and we can cast to third person character where we are taking the damage again get player character with ID 0 and as this one we are going to simulate physics simulate physics so the component is our block collision the value is true and the type is world actor there we go so this is all set up now we need to work a little bit on our equipment so let's find our axe equipment there we go and we need to change a few things the first one is in the static mesh component we need to change from no collision to overlap all there we go and we need to add an interface which is hit an actor let's compile and let's create this so hit an actor event 
there we go and from here we need to do the interact message and we need an item for this and we are not passing through an item so what we can do is we need to create a new variable for our equipped axe and let's call this item or item data better yet and the uh, this is the S inventory structure type which needs to be exposed on spawn and instance editable because we need to pass this. So I will go to the third person character and let's find the location where we are setting this up and it, we are setting this up on our server equip item. So let's see. Here is the axe so let's try to change the type. So equipment x there we go if we change the type the variable pops up item data and we can get this item data from our server equip item output so we can just simply connect this like so compile and save this and now we have this variable over here which is usable and we can connect this to our item and the heated actor of course is the target in our equip x we need to select the static mesh component and we need to generate overlap events otherwise this will not work and the same thing goes for our hit collision it also needs to have generate overlap events set up so like always thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe and see you guys in the next tutorial peace